How's it going, everybody? Dark by Z here, back again. Which has become my catchphrase now, and uh, that's weird. Trying to get the camera set up on using the webcam now again to try and see how that works. I thought I'd come through with another uh, update for you all. Uh, not a big, not a big pile of stuff. It's mostly just video games for the most part and some Blu-rays. And I've got the window open right now. No wait, no, I don't. Weather's been crazy up in Massachusetts lately. Half the time it's either raining or sunny or it's nice out, but I can't, I don't know. So yeah, just want to do this because I know when Free Comic Book Day comes out within one, two, two and a half weeks. Wow, I'll be getting a lot of stuff then. So let's jump right into it with some movies. Uh, seeing as I got a new job, that means the money's coming in more, and that's better. So I stopped by FYE on Saturday to renew my member car, and I picked up some two new Blu-rays of two uh, award-winning movies from last year, which were on sale. First up, I picked up for 18 bucks, The Wolf of Wall Street on Blu-ray, DVD, com, and digital copy. Very long film, but very good. I'm in shock that DiCaprio didn't win an Oscar. I mean, it just, it, it is odd because it does sort of make the lifestyle of this corrupt stockbroker seem really cool, but at the same time, he's a miserable miserable piece of crap guy but just it's just the acting that plays him off so well and you also got McConaughey and Jonah Hill and a lot of actors in this very very excellent movie I would recommend it if you're if you're a fan of Scorsese pick it up if you're curious about it I'd say rent it but great film and as you can tell there's a little bit of a rip off there because I ripped a sticker off and it took a lot of crap off it but I really enjoyed it it's worth just worth checking out I'm still ashamed that DiCaprio didn't get an Oscar I also want to comment that when McConaughey was in the opening, you know, beating his chest like this, that was pretty much him laughing at DiCaprio. That was dark. And then next up, I got this for 8 bucks. Disney's Frozen. I actually really like this movie. The song Let It Go has been stuck in my head. I love Elsa and Anna and Olaf and Kristoff. They're all great characters. The animation's pretty. I like, and once again, I love the music. It's a good, it's a good movie. I actually think it's one of Disney's best. I mean, you know, that's debatable. I, the rock trolls were completely worthless, but it looks it looks good. It's a great, well acted. It's it's a decent runtime, and it's it's a good Disney movie. And it's it's a, it's not. I mean, it's a good anime movie in general too. But in terms of Disney movies, it's one of their best. So really happy I got that. And next up, I'm gonna start with some PS3 games, and I'm gonna move into something fun. Actually, I have something to show you guys real quick. Pick it up. Pick this up at Newberry Comics, a pop figure of Raven from Teen Titans Go. I actually just got into collecting these little guys. I have the dude from Big Lebowski, but he's at my desk at work because I just needed, I needed a conversation starter. I also put up my uh, Green Lantern from New Frontier there. I haven't found the lantern he carried, so that's weird, but... It's a cute little figurine. I'll be picking up this Beast Boy because Raven Beast Boy is the one true pairing from Teen Titans. Just remember that. And stay right there. Ah, look at that. She stayed. Or that surface is good too, but we'll do it over here. Just want to see where she could stand because it's like the head. I don't know where they can stand or not. But anyways, moving on to video games. So uh, Target was having a buy to get one free deal, so I decided to take advantage of that. And I first picked up South Park The Stick of Truth. Very fun RPG. The most fun you can have with this is just going around and looking at everything and exploring the town. A lot of fun. It's funny. It's got a sense of humor to it, too. The It's really just... The RPG system is really a combination of quick time events for the most part, but it works well for what it is. Far, trying to master farts, the fart button is funny, but doing special farts gets a little iffy in combat. I'm a little upset because I found out that uh, Best Buy was selling this for 40 bucks instead of the asking price of 60 but I decided to pick it up. It's still a very fun game. Then I picked up Lego Marvel Super Heroes because it's Lego and there's a bunch of Marvel characters in this, and I've been looking for a good multi-hero action game ever since Ultimate Alliance, and this looks like it will supplement that. I'll be checking this out real soon. Just happy to get this. I played it on my buddy's Xbox One, and that was a lot of fun, so worth checking out. Especially it's a good party game, too. Get up to two players. 
Oh, right, there's only two players because you only can get two LEGO guys. Then finally, the free game I got, because I'm a Metal Gear Solid fan, you know what's coming. Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. I'm very disappointed that they're asking 30 bucks for this. This is easily 15 bucks, or even add on to Phantom Pain, but I say wait for the price to go down on this or rent this, you're fine. I really just got this for free, but it does, you have to really get the cassette tapes and everything to get the story centered for uh, Phantom Pain, which will come out soon. So I'll be buying that on the PS3 when it comes out, because uh, PS4, I'd like one, but it's not in my identifiable future yet. So, a lot of fun game. Also, Kazir Miller's in it. Miller's the man. Finally, this just came in today. The good thing about having a Wii is that you can play some GameCube games. So, since we're on the subject of Metal Gear, GameCube controller, Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes. One of my favorite GameCube games of all time, and also one of the best remakes of all time. Love this game. I got this for... Some friends, we're going to play it. We're going to have a lot of fun with it. Uh, controller, I think, is a third-party one. doesn't have the official Nintendo seal on it, but uh, it was like 5 bucks online. And it, it it feels like it's okay. It fits in the Wii. It works in the Wii anyway, so that's good. Uh, I paid 40 bucks on the Twin Snakes, which is normal asking price because it's so rare. Just really happy that I got it. And that's it. A little short update. I think I'm only running about 7 minutes, but uh, convention-wise, some convention news. Famicon's, Famicon is coming up. Oh, huh, that was weird. Never mind, I thought a screen popped up or something. Uh, Famicom will be coming up soon. That's this Saturday. I'll be going for a few hours late at night. Uh, the Yomi says when they show up from AAC. The Matsuri is a definite for September, Labor Day. As well as Free Comic Book Day at Harrison's Comics in Nashua. Granite Con in Manchester. And then my final con of the year will be AAC in October. Looking forward to that. Hope you enjoyed the update and more to come. Feels good to be back. Until then, stay easy, everybody.